A big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. Finally figured it out. I'm gonna start an ancient Greek barbecue restaurant. Have you ever had that feeling that you wanna go to a place, probably a franchise, and have delicious food? And it doesn't exist. Nobody ever came up with the idea. Well, I have a couple of them. Actually, I have thousands of them. But I still wanna go there and it doesn't exist. So I wanna start a new series. And every episode, I intend to start a new franchise. And today, I'm gonna start an ancient Greek barbecue franchise. Beautiful lamb burgers, beautiful fries. All in Greek style with this logo. <laughs> So yeah, Spartans, right? And in that restaurant, you can order a double barbecue burger menu. I think it's cool. I, I think it's pretty cool. And then I have a lot more ideas and you can steal them if you want. If you guys also have pretty good ideas for a franchise, just send them in. Comment down below what you want to see because I probably want to go there. So without further ado, let's get started. I have this giant piece of lamb saddle. A while back, our favorite butcher came through and he butchered for us a whole dry aged lamb. So to make these in burger patties, first I'm gonna slice them in little pieces and I'm not gonna try to separate the fat from the meat because when you have a look at the whole thing, you can see that the fat ratio is about right. Then I'm gonna grab my kitchen machine and grind it all down. Now you can see that you have a 30 to 70% fat ratio, which is a perfect consistency. But all it needs now is a wrap. I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of paprika powder, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of dried thyme, two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of cumin, and two tablespoons of pepper. Now mix it all up, put another cap on it, and start sprinkling it onto your meat. Mix it all up and watch the color. You don't wanna add too much. You still wanna have that red meat color coming through. But on the other hand, it has to look seasoned. This is a Turkish bread that I wanna use as a burger bun. As you can see, it's quite big, but for me, the perfect burger patty sticks out a bit. So I'll start dividing my ground lamb in round shape and just wing it how much I can get out of it. So now I ended up with six balls and two more here. And I initially thought that I'm just gonna have two more, but I'm not sure yet because this is a big bun. So I wanna see if I can make a double burger because it's gotta be a double. Come on, seriously. It's gotta be, Jim, it's gotta be a double, right? Yep, definitely. And because it sells, franchise, man, franchise. And I don't want a burger bun that's like this size. That's just, that's just horrible. I'm just gonna start with, with shaping them and see if I can get a bigger size than the bun that I have right now. I'm just gonna shape it with my hand, press it down, and use your other hand to hold it. I've tried to keep it as coarse as I can while I was mixing the rub because I just like it more coarse. But in the end, if you wanna have firm burger patties, well, there are some consequences when it's too coarse. Also, you wanna watch out because if you keep pushing it down towards all the ends, it's gonna end up thinner in the middle. But if you push it back, it starts getting thicker in the middle. So keep that in mind. I think this will work. Then keep repeating this process. And once you have all those burger patties ready, slice the baking paper up with your knife and separate all the patties. Of course, when your burger patties are ready, you need to prepare all the other things before you wanna start grilling. I'm gonna start with making an ouzo honey mayonnaise sauce. That's a mouthful. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of ouzo, great Greek stuff, 100 grams of yogurt, one teaspoon of lemon juice, one teaspoon of honey, one teaspoon of olive oil, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Stir it up, then we're gonna set it aside and slice fine a tablespoon of oregano and a tablespoon of basil. Add that to the sauce, stir it up, do a taste test, and man, this is good. Totally different from tzatziki, but a unique selling point for our franchise. For this recipe, I'm gonna use the Napoleon Prestige. And right now, I just want to heat it up on the side burners. I'm gonna turn on the outside burners on both sides and finish off our bread first. Now, every franchise comes with French fries. So I'll start with 500 grams of fresh cut French fries. <laughs> then I add two tablespoons of olive oil to that, a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Mix it all up, grab an oven tray and some baking paper, spread out the french fries, and then switch it with the bread in your Napoleon. For the last preparations, you need to slice some tomato, some red onion, and then I'll make an attempt to slice a big service out of a chunk of feta. But as I already suspected, it's pretty hard to do. So that's why I'm switching up with my super slicer. Still not perfect, but it will do the job. 
Last but not least, I'm gonna toast the bread with some olive oil. So I chopped up some lamb meat, turned it into minced meat, seasoned it, created large patties, and prepared all these ingredients. And now I'm ready to grill. I'm heating up my cast iron grill plate, put some olive oil on, rub it in a little bit with some paper, and once it's up to temperature, then it's time for our burger patties to hit the grill. As you can see, when I made the burger patties, there was a crack in the table. I'm a perfectionist, so I'm not really happy about it, but the smell of lamb is filling the whole area and I just love it. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna wait a while before I flip them because we need a crust on the other side. So I wanna check what's underneath because we need that caramelization. I think we hit the right spot on this one. Here we go. Look at that, beautiful. A nice caramelization. When the burger is seared on both sides, it's time to put it on a burger bun. Get some sauce on your bun, spread it out, some lettuce on. Then the first burger patty, a slice of that feta. Of course, the second burger patty, some tomato slices, red onion, that beautiful Greek ouzo honey mayonnaise sauce, and then put the cab on. Now together with the french fries, a good old milkshake, and a burger, it's time to feast. Welcome to Spartans. After a long day of work, I love to order a Leonidas menu. It's got a Greek lamb burger, fries, and of course a milkshake. I love this franchise idea. This burger looks so nice, and with the sauce and fries, and ooh, I'm gonna try this. Knowing this is lamb. Beautiful, I'm just gonna dive in straight away. Here we go. Wow, I'm speechless. Why didn't I ever? built a lamb burger before. I made a big mistake. Big, big, big mistake. I need more sauce. The sauce is great. I never had a lamb burger before. That's also something new. It's a crazy good idea. You know, when I first came up with this idea, my girlfriend said, make a tzatziki. I was like, I make a lot of tzatzikis on this show. And I don't want to make another one. It's you have to do something really special. Yeah. So I looked into it and I thought, okay, but you know, what about some kind of sauce with honey? Yeah. And then I came up with the ouzo. And ouzo is just amazing. Mm. Amazing stuff to cook with. Actually, it's... it's. It makes, it gives so much fresh flavors too. Yeah. I discovered a whole new world. But the weird thing is, ouzo is licorice. So we're actually having a licorice honey sauce and it goes together with, with a burger. Mm. It's crazy. But it does. It, it works. And you can find the recipe down below. Please try it and please steal it. Please make this franchise so we can go there every day. Every day? Every day. Yeah. Um, should I leave now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave now and I'm gonna eat the fries. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. So, you can click here right now. I'm gonna eat the fries and I wanna thank all the patrons and all the YouTube members. You guys freaking rock. And if you have another idea for another franchise, comment down below. Comment down below. And maybe next time I'm making it. <laughs>